Hey everybody, welcome back to Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we scaled, uh, what is this, Elden Volcano, and we reached the top over here to learn that we can't go inside this temple here. Okay, got that annoying thing to deal with really quickly. <clears throat> but we can't get in because we have to find these key pieces. So they're hidden around, and we have to douse for them, and there's already one over there. So let's dig this area, <clears throat> and there's not one right here, it must be in the next little area. But basically what we're going to be doing this episode is we're going to be looking for these pieces of the key. There's five pieces in total, and I'm going to do this in a nice kind of organized way, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> right here, if you come up to this area. This is an area that you could obviously, well, bomb. So, what you want to do is release that little air pocket, and then come over here and pick up one of these bombs, and just carry it over here, and drop it, and get away from this area, and the wind will carry up this bomb. There's not a key back here, but a goddess cube. So, obviously, we're gonna want to pick that up. I don't even know, I don't know what number this goddess cube is, because it's been maybe two episodes since we've gotten a goddess cube, maybe two or three. I don't know, but... Sorry there. <clears throat> uh, if you need some hearts, which I really need some hearts because I got hit so many times in the last episode by those Boca Boblins, you can come up here and get some hearts. And then we're going to douse for the next one, but it's over here. So, you know what? Don't even take the time to douse, because it's right there. But if you do douse, you'll get a reading. So, you want to get this bomb, throw it near that tall tower. Boom! It'll zoom in on this little hole right here, and that is where your second piece of the key is at. There we go, piece number two. We are doing good so far. I hope this goes pretty fast, because this can take quite a process. Now you see this thing right here? I don't want to give too much away, but you're gonna want to remember where this thing is at because you're going to want to come back down for that later on in the game, so don't worry about it now, there's nothing you can do with it now. Just let it be, and you'll be perfectly fine. If you douse closer to this area where we were in the beginning, you're going to get a reading kind of down in the slopey area here. And if you look, there's a bombable area. Is that a word? You know what, we're going to make it a word if it's not a word. You just want to take these bombs, toss it in that general area, and basically explode that area because in there is our third piece of the key. This one can be kind of hard to find out where it is, just because it kind of leads you, like the dowsing doesn't really lead you to where this key is at, just a general area and you may not know. Or you may just be randomly just kind of guessing different areas and exploring different things, and you might find this area on your own. I actually wonder what happens if you dig up this area before. I don't think you could do it, because when you come up here, the cutscene begins and then you start looking for the keys. So I don't think you can get to this area before the cutscene of discovering that we need to find these keys. But there it is, piece three. Now those pieces are really easy to get. Granted, all of them are really easy to get, but the last two, oh, please get up here. Please get up here. There we go. The last two are just in a different kind of area and take a little navigation skills to get to. 
Now, right off the bat, you're not going to get a reading of where they're at. You're going to get some slight of a reading, but it's going to be over here in this area that we've not explored of the Elden region. So, it's a lot of area. So, basically, you just kind of do a lot of guessing when you get to this point and keep dowsing every, every single time that you reach a new area because... You want to be sure that you're actually getting to the right place. And if you want, you can pick up some blessed, blessed, blessed butterflies right here. You'll figure out why these are here later. I think it tells you later, but we're not going to worry about this kind of ritual looking area. And we're not going to spoil it. So no spoilers. Nothing. We're just going to continue. We're going to continue on, looking for the pieces of the key. That's what we're here to do. And also, we're here to get rid of some Boko Boblins. So let's just get rid of them. Okay, that was all of them. I think there's a leader somewhere nearby. Oh, yeah, there he is. There's the leader. Right up there on top of that tower, and just like last time, and just like we've done with like two or three previous towers, what you want to do is face the bombs, face the bombs, pick up a bomb, turn around, oh that's not going to end well, just go away bomb, just go away. You want to pick up a bomb, and as I was explaining, roll it, and boom. Bye, Boko Boblin leader. Now I'm just gonna check these huts to see if there's any diggable areas or treasures or pots or stools to sit on. But guess what? There's nothing. So, let's continue over this way. And we're gonna deal with some fire keys here. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Yeah, I knew there was a red choo-choo coming up here, but regular enemies you don't have to deal with. Now, when you get to this point, you're like, wait, what do I do? There's some vines to climb, I have to get to the other side over there. It's not explicit what you're supposed to do. This area really confused me, and that's why I say you really need some navigation skills and you need to kind of figure out some things, but if you stand over here, um, right here, and get kind of close, eventually, there we go, it'll say drop down, and you press A, and you can go across. This area took me the longest time to figure out what I was supposed to do, because I was like, how am I supposed to get to the other side, because the bridge didn't just come across and open up for me like the last time, it's like I actually had to do some kind of work. Sorry, I'm lazy game. Sorry, I kind of almost like things to be kind of explained to me. And unfortunately, that's not what a Zelda game is. A Zelda game usually always requires you to figure out something almost on your own with puzzles. But some puzzles can be fun. I like some puzzles. So, what you want to do here is jump. And it looks like you're going to fall, but if you did it right and you ran at the right speed and everything... You'll be fine, don't worry, you'll be fine. Climb over and pick up a stamina fruit along your way. Stamina fruit. I'll just stand up here for a second. And then you can press the switch, and... Now you don't have to go that awkward way across, and you can just cross the bridge whenever you feel like it. Ooh, look, an Elden Roller came out. Let's see if we can pick it up. Elden Roller. Come here, Elden Roller. Come here, Elden Roller. Fi, I hear you, and I'm going to tell the audience, but I can't happen right now. That can't happen right now, because I'm picking up an Elden Roller. You pick up when I'm putting down. So let's get out of here. You'll notice you were kind of set on fire in there, and you're like, what's up with that? I don't know. But what you want to do is, Fi will come out, 
or you press down. Master I'm detecting extremely high temperatures from the area directly ahead. I calculate 95% chance of your clothing will immediately combust upon entrance. Please proceed with caution. You may be able to pass through safely if you run. I recommend confirming your direction by dowsing before making the attempt. This area is extremely hot. You do not want to stay in there. You will instantly game over if you stay in there too long and Link burns up. But if you douse, and I'm not getting really that much of a dowsing reading here. There it is. You'll notice that there's an area kind of off to the right. I didn't mean to zoom out. Kind of off to the right, like you were getting a reading, like if that was Link right there and he was facing um, the direction he's facing of southeast, you're going to get a kind of in this in the south southern area. So what you want to do is run in here as fast as you can and run to the right. Do not go straight up the path. Go straight up to the right. Now to pick up the next key. Head to the right. You want to head this way. If you go the other way, Okay, not too, not too big of a deal. If you head the other way, you're not gonna get anything. I think. Um, and then, by so you want to go to the right, and then, again, you want to take the right path. Trust me. Trust me on this one. Because here is where you're gonna pick up your fourth piece of the key. <clears throat> now that random cell cloth that we got that you never ever have to use whatsoever it's gonna come in handy at this point um because these air vents you're gonna want to get on top of them time it perfectly and get up there to that ledge so we're gonna wait here and like i said if you take the left path it looks like you can get over there like just by looking at the map you can't you have to take the two right paths Take these air vents, time them perfectly straight, and get right here to pick up your fourth piece of the key. So like I said, uh, a lot more difficult, and you have to navigate deeper into an area that we haven't yet gone to, um, to really pick up the fourth and the last key. Now if you douse, had a brain fart there. If you douse, you get a nice open view of the whole entire Elden region. But you're not really going to get a specific location on exactly where you're supposed to go next. So the only way is to continue going down and sliding down the landslide. And like I said, every single time you enter a new area, even if I don't on the screen during this gameplay, douse, unless you're using this as a guide, or if you can't remember when you're playing by yourself. Dows because it really helps you to figure out exactly where you're supposed to go, and that way you're not just like going, you know, wherever. If we head off, um, I believe it's in here. Yes, yes, it is. Notice you're gonna want to make note of that little lava flowing out of the thing. If you come up this landslide, don't do it. Because you're not, it's not going to end well. You're going to end up in lava. Okay? Okay, listen to me. Now, you're getting a reading of a key over there. When I first played this, I spent my entire time trying to roll a bomb up the landslide at an angle to hit that bombable area over there. You don't want to waste your time doing this. There's an infinite number of bombs, but you're not going to want to waste your time because there's no other way to do this. You want to bomb that first little area where lava was flowing, where there was like a where it was like plugged up, and then all the lava will flow out, creating this platform. Then you can take your bomb, roll it up the landslide to the land area now that's available for us, to the bombable area to get the last piece of the key. And then you can make your way over here, dig, and bada bing, bada boom, you got the whole entire key. Now, I recommend doing it in the order that I just did it. Because it's like a specific path. 
the one near the temple, the one down, <clears throat> uh, the one near the temple, the one, uh, down the landslide where you found the first one, the third one in that bombable area on the first time we went up the landslide, the fourth one down a different landslide. How many times are we going to see landslide here? Um, and then take the two air pockets up to it. And then this one, which requires the bombing, uh, specific bombing and lava. So it's like a really clear cut path that we should be taking. And now you're wondering, okay, how do I get back to where I came from? Because you're kind of in the middle of nowhere. If you pulled up your map, you're not going to know exactly where you're at. Don't take those vines. These, these vines do not lead to anything. What you want to do is come over to this area, which is where that little split was where I was deciding where to go. Take this bomb. Ooh, look, another volcanic ladybug. How many volcanic ladybugs can you pick up? We're, no, we're going to find out by the end of this. If you bomb this area, we're going to be back to where we met that figure in black and where I said do not take the time to bomb this area because it's going to be pointless. While that area seems pointless now, later on you could use it as a shortcut if you need it to. So that's good. Then you want to take that air vent, huge air vent back up to this area where we unlocked that bridge and we did the whole climbing around area. And down here, we'll enter back into another Boko Boblin village that we first entered into. And really quickly, I completely forgot to show this when we came into the Boko Boblin village. Goddess cube. How did I forget? I do not even know how I completely forgot this. It's like right around the corner from the Boko Boblin. You should pick this up. Now you can pick this up whenever you want, but I would pick it up just before you go looking for the pieces of the keys, because it's right here, and on your way back as well. Anyway, we picked up all the pieces of the key, we have the whole key, so on the next Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we are going to enter that temple and search for Zelda once again in another temple. So, next Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to do just that. See you then. Wait, there is one thing I forgot to show, though. Coming back to this area over here where there's, like, the little two-way split here where we went down the landslide in that really hot lava area. Instead of taking the right path to go get the key, come back around again, take the left path. And then you can dig up this area right here. This is not what I'm showing. Um, I completely forgot to mention this, but you do have to come and circle back around if you want to pick this up, and I recommend that you do pick this up, and I recommend that I pick it up too, because it's a 100% run that I'm showing, because right here, right below this little area, is a goddess cube. So we're going to want to pick that up, so this is three goddess cubes in one episode. Huh? Huh? Near a bombable breakable area. Another one in a th near the Bokobalm village, and one on this landslide where we pick up the fourth piece of key. Like I said, you just have to circle back around. And then this part of the landslide will just take you back down to where we were before. And now I'll see you on the next Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This time I mean it. See you next time, guys.